And Sarah Palin knows that it is okay to call someone a retard if, like Rush, you clearly don't mean it. Which is why we should all come to her defense and say, Sarah Palin is a f***ing retard. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, welcome to Give Me Five. There you have it, uh, Les Moonves, the uh, genius. I heard one person say he owns CBS. He doesn't own CBS. It's a publicly, publicly traded company. Nonetheless, uh, this is uh, what the brain surgeon Les Moonves came up with as a replacement for David Letterman. So what they're doing is replacing one uh, left-wing, off-the-cliff liberal with a worse off-the-cliff liberal who plays you know, a different character. He play, doesn't play himself. He plays a character, which I understand he's not going to play that character. So what good is he if he's not in his character? But that's beside the point. Listen to this. Listen to this. He's David Letterman with the F word. Yesterday we played two parts in Gimme Five, um, 10 through 6 and 5 through the top one of the top 10 Media Research Center liberal statements by David Letterman. Today, the same Media Research Center brings you the top five, or at least five examples, actually four examples, of Stephen Colbert. That was outrageous. But again, it's okay to attack a woman and be a misogynist and, and be anti-woman and anti-female and war on women if that's a conservative woman. Then it's okay. And CBS is going to stick right with that. And here, um, Stephen Colbert, I'll call him Colbert. Here, Stephen Colbert um, attacks Wayne LaPierre. If it's crazy to call for putting police and armed security in our school to protect our children, then call me crazy. <laughs> Folks, I don't know about you folks, but I agree with Wayne LaPierre. You, sir, are in the head. <laughs> we'll be right back. That's great. What are, what are they going to call that? Hey, Les Moonves, what are you going to call it? It's going to be called Effin with Stephen Colbert. How's that? Effin with Stephen Colbert. Uh, it's, it, it's just insane that this trash, this trash gets a promotion. But in the liberal world, this is great. He calls Wayne LaPierre the F word. He calls Sarah Palin the F word. This is great. Let's move him up. Let's give him a better time slot. Unbelievable. But that's the state of liberal television, and that's what they want. Now, here he is. Uh, talking about Rush Limbaugh and women. Uh, watch. Advertisers fleeing from Rush Limbaugh is growing. 141 companies have now officially bailed on Limbaugh's radio show. Among the latest Limbaugh defectors, Acura, IBM, American Express, McDonald's, and the U.S. Army. Yes, the Army is pulling out of Rush. <laughs> Meanwhile... Meanwhile, they're staying in Afghanistan <laughs> to negotiate with the Taliban, who evidently have a better track record on women's issues. Yeah, and believe me, he probably believes that. All right, one more. Um, NBC uh, and, uh, uh, and Colbert, uh, NBC's Today Show, they, they, they did a, a rave review of, uh, of Stephen Colbert um, uh, calling Mitt Romney a serial killer and a spoof. Watch. This political attack ad spoof by Stephen Colbert's Super PAC is a top search on Google. If Mitt Romney really believes... Corporations are people, my friend. <laughs> then Mitt Romney is a serial killer. He's Mitt the Ripper. Colbert is using his fake bid for the White House to call attention to unlimited spending by anonymous super PACs. It is now 8.05. Back to Savannah, Natalie, and Al. <laughs> I love Colbert. I know. What he gets away with. He's a great American. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's only slightly more over the top yes. than some of the ads we've seen. Exactly. 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 They love Colbert. And Al Roker weighing in with his one and a half cents because his, his political opinions are not worth two cents. His one and a half cent, uh, great American, a great American. F in this one, F in that one. Uh, this one's a serial killer. What a, what a great American. Oh, Al, if only you had his talent. On the Steve Malsberg Show on Newsmax Television.